Eric Trump has shared a major update on Prince Harry's visa woes months after Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump warned he may deport the Duke of Sussex if he's re-elected. Riley Sullivan is a reporter here at skynews.com.au and he's always across the latest headlines from the royal family. Riley, great to see you. Great to be back. Eric Trump has spoken about Prince Harry's future in the United States. If Donald Trump is elected in just six days' time, what did Eric have to say? Yeah, well, you know, this has been an ongoing saga now for months, of course. Um, Donald Trump was asked about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex several months ago during an interview. He was questioned, look, if you become president, would you deport Harry? You know, Harry's mm. made these past admissions in his memoir spare about drug use, which would presumably possibly disqualify him from permanent residency. And it was this ongoing dialogue about, you know, the legality of, of Harry's visa. But, you know, Eric Trump's come out. He's basically shut that down. He said, at this point, you know, no one cares about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Um, he basically said that they're safe from deportation simply because, you know, it's just not a priority. It's not a priority for, um, you know, Donald Trump and it's mm. not a, really a priority for a lot of Americans. I think that the Sussexes have really kind of faded um, in the public eye. So, you know, I mean, a good outcome for Harry, but a really a sign, I think, that they're just not that relevant anymore. Yeah, interesting. It's a fierce comment, but I suppose good news for Prince Harry. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Meghan Markle is reportedly struggling to get her lifestyle brand off the ground, and there's even reports she may scrap the venture entirely. What's the latest on American Riviera Orchard? Mm -hmm. Well, this is another sort of ongoing um, case now that has been you know, out there for almost a year, you know, American Riviera Orchard was supposed to be Megan's huge jump into the lifestyle space. She mm. was going to be taking on Gwyneth Paltrow's group empire. It was sort of this grand plan of, of her um, turning her royal title into this huge business. And it's just been a complete, you know, failure. She hasn't really launched anything. Of course, she sent out those infamous jars of jam, um, which was nearly six months ago now. And, and we really haven't heard anything about it since then. And and more recently, you know, there's reportedly some trademark issues um, that she hasn't got all of her trademarks in order. And there's just really no signs that this thing is actually going to go anywhere. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, um, that the reports aren't true. I think that she might actually just quietly drop this venture. I wow. wouldn't be surprised if this is the last we hear of American Riviera Orchard. Oh, I didn't see that coming, but there you go. Prince William has made a rare comment about his relationship with his late mother, Princess Diana, mm -hmm. in a brand new documentary. What's the documentary about and what did Will have to say about Diana's legacy? Yeah, well, you know, of course, as Prince of Wales, Williams really prioritised homelessness as, as a social issue that he's passionate about. And it's been a lifelong interest and it was sparked by his mother, Diana. So there's this new documentary that's coming out on ITV in the UK and um, it's, it's the Prince really exploring homelessness and, of course, talking about his early, you know, understanding of, of the issue, which was through his mother, Princess Diana. She was, of course, you know, a great philanthropist in her time and really redefined, I think, um, charity and, and how the royal family approaches charity. And, and I think he really paid tribute to her. He says that, you know, her legacy, he carries that on through his charity work and he also tries to instill that in his three children as well about, you know, even though they're in these positions of, of amazing privilege mm. and, and, and also power and using that for... A positive and I just thought it was you know so refreshing to hear to hear William talk about it because he doesn't really talk about his mother I think the last time he even spoke about Diana publicly it was um, almost eight years ago now on wow. the 20th anniversary of her death so um, a rare comment from him but you know definitely for a worthy cause. Princess Catherine has reportedly written a letter of support to a high-profile Bollywood actress mm -hmm. who's also a cancer survivor. What prompted the Princess of Wales to reach out? Yeah, you know, I thought this was a really um, inspiring story. Manisha Koirala is a, a well-known Bollywood actress, um, known obviously internationally um, for her work. And, and unfortunately, she also battled stage four cancer, which is just, you know, absolutely horrific. But she's in remission and, and she's overcome that. And um, when she heard about Kate's diagnosis several months ago, she reached out to the Princess of Wales just to sort of express her support. Like thousands of people all over the world sent mm. letters, and and Kate replied. She sent her a, a reportedly she sent her a personal response, just you know thanking her for the support and and vice versa. You know celebrating her on her own cancer journey. Um, just a, a lovely story from Kate showing you know once again. Her, her return to public life after what has been a very eventful 12 months. Yeah, that is a lovely story. No matter who you are, you might be part of the royal family, but you're a human being, and it's so nice to see that she's been reaching out and offering support. Riley Sullivan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.